Gentlemen and the lady, both of you, both of you, yeah, that works better with audio pass. Who left me the beer? Thanks. Wow. Folks, welcome to the opening night reception. You should be drunk by now. I should look good by now. You all read. It's not enough alcohol to leverage. I used to room with Bobby Darren. He left me this suit. <laughs> Tonight we're going to take a little look uh, at the past before we look at the future. The future actually is much brighter than any of you think. I'll just leave it there. Yeah. What did you mean by that? Um, but in the past, some of you have actually been with us for a very long time, all 15 years. Marjorie. Thank you. I think you came before. You were at the San Tropez working, I don't know what you were doing. Uh, Mike Maloney, Todd Brown, Brian Wolf. Familiar names, those are actually the founders of the show. And they are all not here. Mike has gone on to fame and fortune in gold and silver, so obviously he's not here. He's making money. He's making money somewhere, exactly. Okay, how many can name the hotels we were at? Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Yeah. No, never did. You were at the Tropicana. Well, let's begin at the San Tropez. That's where it started. Then we went to the Tuscany for one year. Then we went to the San Remo for two years, till they changed it into Hooters. I said most of the exhibitors will like that, but no. So then we went back to the Sandra Bay, then Alexis Park, and we've been here for four years. We're uh, moving on up. Uh, first of all, this evening, uh, anybody know, ever heard of a little magazine called The Absolute Sound? <laughs> Those are the reporters. Um, <laughs> Jim Hannon, the publisher, is with us this evening. He's going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the icons of the industry along the way. Jim, are you... Oh, there you are. Jim Hannon from yeah. The Absolute Sound. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, recognize Larry Mitchell and Ann Bison, or Bison for... Uh, their fine performances. You know, it's really all about the music, isn't it? And I think music's been the hook for all of us to get into high performance audio. Um, and so thank you for, for some great performances. Uh, I'd also like to raise a glass to Richard Beers. I'd like to honor also some of the manufacturers and industry luminaries and players in the field who uh, helped create the high-end audio business and reminisce just a bit. Um, I think we all had our various hooks to get into high-end high audio or high-performance audio. Mine came relatively early. Uh, when I was in high, junior high school, uh, my brother got a KLH integrated system that had an integrated turntable and he also worked at a record store so it would bring uh, all kinds of recordings back to our room and we'd listen late into the night. And we thought of ourselves as, uh, we'd listen to Maynard Ferguson and Buddy Rich and Horowitz and Rubenstein and uh, you know, dreamt about being on stage ourselves. And uh, my brother ended up playing, uh, uh, performing and touring with Buddy Rich and Lena Ferguson, and I did a bit of performing myself. So um, it helped stoke our dreams, and uh, it also taught us a lot about music and enriched our lives. In high school, I graduated to a Girard turntable, a Pioneer receiver, and some ADC loudspeakers, and I thought that was a pretty pretty good system at the time and it lasted me throughout most of my college years but I happened to go into a dorm room with somebody who had magna pan speakers and when I heard them my jaw dropped I could not believe that speakers that looked like uh, Japanese screens 
uh, could produce such great music. And, and I was hooked. Uh, along the way also, um, I was uh, uh, introduced to a magazine called The Absolute Sound and later to another magazine called Stereophile. And, uh, you know, I was reading about companies like MagnaPan, CAF, Quad, Audio Research, and others. Some of them are here demonstrating at the show and at that other show. Um, so I, I'd like to raise a glass to all those people who were in at the beginning, all those uh, uh, audio artists and manufacturers, so here's to them. Uh, I think we, we've built upon you know, uh, what they've done. Um, and uh, I'd also like to uh, say that initially, uh, I was guided in my audio journey by Harry Pearson and at The Absolute Sound and Jay Gordon Holt at Stereophile. And so I'd like to raise the glass to Harry and to the memory of Jake Gordon Holt, as well as to all those journalists who continue to report on high performance audio and music. So here's to them. Uh, we got some bad news right before the show, and uh, uh, David Manley passed away last week. So uh, uh, our condolences to his family, um, and to Luke and, and B. Manley. So uh, if you see them, uh, give them your condolences. Uh, but while it's fun to reminisce about the good old days, uh, the sound I'm hearing here at the show uh, and recently is so much better than what, what we had decades ago. So much better. It brings us so much closer to the sound of live music to a live concert hall experience. And so, in closing, I'd like to thank all of you who continue to advance the audio arts and recording arts and bring such enjoyment to our lives. So, have a great show. Thanks.